Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making the watermelon slushy from the Flower and Garden Festival. As soon as you have all of your ingredients prepped, I started with the cucumbers first to puree them, and then I went forward with the watermelon. Now, if you use a ninja like this, you're gonna have to cut the recipe in half because midway through, I ran into a crisis of too many ingredients and not enough space. So I highly recommend a full-size blender or like cutting the recipe in half because that's what I ended up having to do was pour half of it in a big bowl and then go back and um, basically do it in half. So really this is simple. All you do is blend the cucumber and the watermelon together. So easy enough you're just going to blend it until it's smooth and then add the frozen lemonade concentrate. Make sure that yours is frozen because I think that helps make it a little bit more slushy. Mine was a little bit on the runny side so in the end I had to add more ice. Blend it again. And then you're gonna start adding your ice. So you can see that I downsized mine significantly because I ended up doing this three or four times to make the entire recipe. But I mean, in the end it worked. In the end it was delicious and it was absolutely refreshing on this ridiculously hot day. So add the ice a little at a time until you get the consistency that you want. Here you see I have to add just a little bit more ice. It didn't change the flavor. It didn't take away from the flavor at all. It just made it a little bit more slushy. So being in the South, everything tastes just a little bit sweeter coming from a mason jar. As you can see here, it makes a ton and this is like a third of the entire recipe. So I put a paper straw in it, it's cute little white straw with pink polka dots, and then I use my watermelon with my cookie cutter to make a watermelon Mickey head. I cut a little slit in there just to garnish the cup just a little bit, and there you go. It is truly a simple recipe and absolutely refreshing. Here is what it looks like with a little bit of light on it. I will say that Michaela and I shared this little jar and we finished it off within an hour. It was so delicious. It almost tasted like a fantastic spa drink. You guys, we had so much left over, I decided to put it in these little plastic cups with a little cling wrap over it to make some like Italian ice, and it was so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.